Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I want to walk you through getting everything that you need set up so that you can play World of Warcraft on your Steam Deck. So this is in gaming mode. We're not doing remote play. We're not playing in desktop mode. I am using my Steam Deck in gaming mode to play World of Warcraft. And it is the legitimate World of Warcraft. So I'm going to walk you through getting everything you need to get it installed, set up, and get playing World of Warcraft on your Steam Deck. So the very first thing that we want to make sure that we do though, is we got to go to desktop mode. So let's switch over there. All right, we're in desktop mode. So what we're going to do first is actually go and open up Firefox. Now from Firefox, we're going to go over to the battle.net website. So you can go to your browser. We'll enter in battle.net. Right, battle.net there we go oh all right here we go so battle.net and then we'll click go once the website loads what we want to do is scroll all the way down to the bottom of the page at the bottom click battle.net desktop app what this is going to do, it's going to take us to the page to actually download the game for Windows or the launcher. So click that and then you'll start to see at the top right the actual launcher being downloaded, the executable. All right, so it's downloaded. You can see the, the executable is done. Uh, once that finishes, we just want to close this out. So close this. All right. And down at the bottom, toward the middle right, you'll have your Steam icon. Go ahead and click that. And then we'll go up to Library. All right, once we're in Library, we'll add a non-Steam game. So add game, add non-Steam game. And then what we want to do is find that executable. So we'll click Browse. And we'll go to the top. And you want to choose slash home slash deck. So we'll click that and then we want to go to our downloads folder and open that one. All right. If you see nothing there, you want to make sure that you change your file type to show all files and then it should be right there. So we've got our battle.net setup executable. We'll go ahead and click that and then click open. We see it's selected at the top and then add selected programs. You should see your battle.net setup over there to the left in our library. So we'll click that and we got to do a couple things first. So uh, once you click that before you hit play, we want to go over to the manage and then click properties and we want to force compatibility. So there's a tab here that says compatibility. Go ahead and click that one and then check mark the force the use of a specific Steam Play compatibility. So there are a few different options here. You can choose your own version of Proton 31 or Proton, whatever it is, Proton GE. You may get an error though, like this. If you do, just go back and choose the actual Proton for Steam, which at the time of this recording is Proton 704. So that's the one I'm gonna use. So we'll close this. Once that's done, hit play. And this is going to download and walk us through getting battle.net set up the launcher so once that's done we don't want it to start when our computer starts and then click continue and now it's going to install so we'll we'll cut through this let that install all right now once that's done we're going to have to log in so go ahead and log in and once you do then it's going to start to try to scan for games. We don't have any right now, so we're just going to close this out. And it acts like it's brand new, because it is, so we'll just click through all the prompts. Continue, next, next. All right. Now, once that's done, let's go ahead and close this out. So just hit the X. You can minimize it. It's going to close no matter what, because once we hit stop, so click stop and then confirm. All right. 
So we set everything up. Now what we need to do is remove the setup executable. So click that in properties. I'm sorry, manage. And then remove a non-Steam game. All right, now we're gonna go through this process again, only we're gonna add the launcher. So add game, add non-Steam game, just like we did before. Browse. We'll go back to the home deck. Only instead of going to the downloads, we actually wanna to go to local. And then we'll go to share. And we're looking for uh, the folder called Steam. So we'll open that folder and then we'll need to, you may need to scroll down a little bit to find it, but scroll down again and we're actually going to look for the folder now called Steam Apps. So Steam, then Steam Apps. All right, there's a file in here called Compat Data. So open that folder and then what that's going to do is show us all of the files that we've downloaded there or installed. We see the top one is a long number. That means it's a Windows file. We can also see the date it was modified. It was today. So we'll open that one and then the PTX folder. Open that one. Drive C, and then we'll go to Program Files 86. So, if you're not finding any of the files, what you need to do is you need to make sure that you again go down and select the file type to show all files. I could have done that at the beginning, but I'm doing it now. Uh, but what we want to do then is go up to the battle.net folder, and then we see our executable that is the launcher this time. So the first one was the setup. This is the actual launcher that we want to add to our Steam library. So we'll click our battle.net launcher executable and click open. And you know you did it right when it's at the top and it's check marked. We see that battle.net launcher executable. Click add selected programs. See it at the top. So add selected programs. All right, now we've got our launcher in our Steam library and we need to force the compatibility again. So click that. Go back over to the manage and then properties and then compatibility. Force the compatibility and I'm gonna use the one that is provided by Steam. All right, so once we got that set up, we'll go ahead and close this and then we'll hit play. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna go back through the process. Um, it's gonna be a lot quicker. So we'll just cut into the, the login. Um, but first it's gonna pop up, we're gonna log in. All right, so we're logged in. It's scanning for games, we don't have any yet. Again, so we'll close this. Go through the prompts just like we did before. Continue, next, 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 next. All right, this is the launcher. So we're going to install it here. We're gonna go over to World of Warcraft. And again, this can be any Blizzard game, but I'm gonna do World of Warcraft. We're gonna install that, and then it's gonna go through its process now. We don't want to play it in desktop mode, so we'll just check mark the create desktop shortcut because we don't want that. We're, we're going to play this in gaming mode, but we got to install it here first. So we'll start this install and then we'll, uh, we'll cut back to whenever it's done installing. All right, we've got World of Warcraft installed. We're going to go ahead and click play here, but again, we're not going to play it in desktop mode. We're going to play it in gaming mode you may get a pop-up that is asking you to confirm your language um, so if it's not running make sure you do that first and then the game should load all right we've got it going so the game is loading it's going through the intro cutscene again what we're going to do though is we're not going to play it in desktop mode we're going to play it in in gaming mode so uh, once this finishes, it's going to bring us to that launcher screen where we can actually log in. Uh, you can do it here if you want to. You can log in here or you can log in on the gaming mode. So what we're going to do is cut over to gaming mode and let's check it out. 
All right, so here we are. We are in gaming mode, logged into World of Warcraft, and we are playing World of Warcraft on our Steam Deck. Now, there are a couple things that I want us to walk through first, like setting up our controls and setting up our graphics. So go down to the system, click on system settings, and then your graphics and set everything up how you want it to be. I have mine set on high, and then click OK or apply. And then the most important thing that you want to do is set up your controller layout. So if you get the game running and you automatically start moving controls around and nothing's working, it's because you need to set up your controller layout. Um, even if your cursor is not working, you can always hit hold steam and use the cursor so that will work. Um, but I do recommend controller layout. It's the very first thing that you do. So the way that we do that is not through World of Warcraft. We do it through steam. So hit the steam button. And then you'll go down to controller settings, which mine already is, and then World of Warcraft. Just scoot over, and then you'll have your controller settings right here. You can click it with your finger. Oh, there it goes. And then um, two ways of doing this. One, you can click edit layout and do it all yourself. And that's what I did. Or what you can do is you can go up here and you can actually find a layout. So you can go to the community layout, search for World of Warcraft, and import a controller layout. You can do it that way if you want to. I like to set mine up myself, so that's what I did. So um, I saved it here so that if for some reason it all just gets messed up, and you can see I have three of them here, I went with the top one. Um, if it ever gets messed up, I have it saved, so I can just go back, click my layout, and then go right back into the game. And now my controller works. So don't get don't get freaked out if the very first time you run it, nothing's working. You got to do those two things. Set up your controller set up your graphics. All right, that'll do it for the video today. Thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Peace.